Hello, pet parents. I'm Robert Simro, and I am joined by my good friend, Nikki White. Nikki, how you doing? I'm good. I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I know it smells so good. <laughs> it does. Which, of course, our pups know as well, right? Mm -hmm. And so they are just sitting there the whole day while we're preparing, going, come on, come on, throw me something. Which leads us all to the same question. Can my dog eat Thanksgiving foods? Mm. Great question, right, Nikki? Yeah, I get because it all the time. Because there are some things we have to know. So. And it's super important too to tell your guests as well because you Great may point. know that your dog can or cannot have some of these things, but your guests don't. And if each one of your guests gives your dog a little nibble at the end of the day, it could be pretty bad. Yeah, and it's hard to keep track too, right? Everybody's slipping Fido something under the table. They want to be their best friend. Oh, see, Fido loves me the most. Food you know, is love, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Remind them, and especially if your dog has any issues ongoing. You know, we have guests from out of town who don't interact on a daily basis with our dogs. Mm -hmm. This can be pretty important. But let's start off with the centerpiece of the meal, and mm. that is the beautiful turkey. Yes. Okay. So I, I spent hours on this, you, um, slaving over this I, turkey. I noticed it compressed a little bit, um, deflated. <laughs> um, but it still looks great, and it smells great, mm -hmm. which again is going to bring our pups running to the table going, I want some. So mm -hmm. can we give them some turkey? If they have a little bit, that is okay. Protein is protein is protein. That's, that's okay. But if your dog is accidentally getting on top of the table and eating <laughs> the entire turkey, then we've got a little bit of um, triage that needs to happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're going to have a, a problem with their stomach. We might have some problems uh, as well, all the way up to pancreatitis. Right. So the other thing too is how do you prepare your turkey? Are you a turducken? Are you a beer can? Are you Is it a deep fried? fried? Exactly. <laughs> so you got to take that into consideration as well. Yes. What kind of seasonings you're using? What are you stuffing inside of it? All that is going to impact it as well. So make sure as you're doing it, maybe, you know, make some adjustments to your family recipe and bring it back to a dog safe level because right. it's real simple to do. Right. Plain, more, plainer, is that a word? Yeah. Plainer is, is better. It is today. <laughs> yeah, it is today. So the more plain the turkey is, the better it'll be for your dog if you're going to give him snacks here and there. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's go through the meal a little bit because, of course, I'm going to save the pie even though it's jumping out at me. But, <laughs> it's like but right let's here start with, well. with stuffing because mm -hmm. this is a tradition. Right. It's probably the one, two, three times a year that I have it is on the holidays. Mm -hmm. So stuffing yes or no stuffing is not uh, approved this is not nikki approved S stuffing <laughs> is a no right and the reason being is not only are carbs not all that great for your dog but a lot of stuffing has onions in it and onions raisins. and my raisins my, my dad's recipe calls for lots of raisins right so our our dogs could never it just would you got to take it off the plate there so, and again, remember too, right? You leave that plate laying around, even for a second, they can get to it. Right, so, so always watch things with onions, raisins. Stuffing's a no, but you can make an alternative type of stuffing. Right. Dog safe. At my house, since we all are low carb eaters, um, we don't have stuffing, but we like to do roasted cauliflower instead. And we can put carrots in there and you can do a couple of other things that are dog friendly and you can give your dog a little bit of cauliflower and you can reference that too in one of our last shows that we had talking yep. about our vegetables good for your dog absolutely now let's talk about what we have here with pumpkin and pumpkin pie i'm sorry i just i've got to get we to weren't dessert. gonna go there but we're, we're gonna, gonna go there we're, we're gonna eat going dessert there. first <laughs> yeah but it is it is just so easy for folks to just grab i'm just gonna grab a little slice here mm -hmm. while i wait for dinner right so pumpkin pie, yes or no? That would be also a no. That is a definite no. Definite because no. a lot of pumpkin pie mixes have a lot of chemicals and additives in it that just are not good for our dogs, are gonna right. at a minimum upset their stomachs and can cause even more problems. But you can make, as you see that we have here, mm -hmm. a nice little side dish of pure pumpkin puree right. and real simple, real easy. It kind of keeps them occupied from some of this other stuff. Here. Right. It makes it, it makes everybody feel like you're sharing this special meal with your dog, which we all love to do. Uh, but you know you can rest easy that pumpkin is safe for them and yeah. they can enjoy it too. Well, and because it's a good source of fiber, it's also going to help them in case they get into a little bit more treating than they should be getting. Right. So love having that. Now let's talk about uh, some of the sides. Cranberry. Cranberry sauce. Yes or no? 
That would be a no. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I know that you love your cranberry sauce. I love cranberry. That's, this is better. It's more for me. More for you. Yes. None for your dogs. Yes. <laughs> none for Bella, but cranberries yes. in a natural state. Right. They're can. great. So if you're making homemade cranberry sauce this season, you can reserve a few cranberries for your dog. You might want to mush them up first, though, just so you can... Um, not have the choking hazard involved yeah. in all of this, but they are really good for digestion and bladder support too. Yeah, so uh, as always, with all this stuff, proportion control is always mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. Know your dog. Remind, if you've got a little Yorkie type dog, uh, little, mini, little, mini, mini, mini. fingernail size yeah. treats. You have a German Shepherd, Okay, a little bit bigger bites. Like maybe yeah. like this much. <laughs> now, we don't have it on here, but it's something that's a staple for me, and mm. that is mashed potatoes mm. now mashed potatoes i'm going to jump on that one because in theory sure but it is a high a high carb high sugar right. food right. so you know the it's not beneficial yeah it's, it's not beneficial um we have now switched we're also low carb ourselves mm -hmm. we've switched to mashed <laughs> cauliflower oh, which is a great cauliflower. opportunity and a great substitute mm -hmm. and a very healthy substitute mm -hmm. so just be sure you're not doing too many different um, you know, spices and things like that. Watch what you're putting into all of these foods mm -hmm. and know whether it can help or cause issues. Right. Now, gravy, I saved that Ooh, for the, the last gravy. because in my, in my family, I spent, we were talking about this before, yeah. I spend hours Way making too much time on gravy. perfect <laughs> gravy. You can drink this gravy. Mm. Um, but the thing about it is, I put so many different things into my personal family secret recipe. Can you that post it, that? Yeah, I'll, I'll post that. <laughs> post it's only like 80 different ingredients. <laughs> but the thing about it is, is because of that, hmm. no gravy for her. No. No gravy. No. And so, you know, again, there are other little things and little accoutrements. And we're going to do a series of much shorter videos where we talk about these. In fact, some of these that are on the table. Mm -hmm. But where we get into those little things that you can add in that are safe and those that you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. The most important thing, though, as Nikki started off with, is be aware. Mm -hmm. The holidays are chaotic. They're fun. There's a lot of energy going on. Your dog picks up on that mm -hmm. and they just want to be a part of it. And remember, their theory is if you're eating it, they can eat it, right? Mm -hmm. So be vigilant. We want everybody to have a happy and a healthy Thanksgiving, and that especially includes your four-legged family members as well. That's right. That's All right. right. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you again on the Can My Dog Show. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Do you always have a computer out on the dinner table? I do. I do. It, <laughs> it has its own chair. And um, yeah, thanks it's for It's attached. <laughs>